Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brandon. I'm designer slash gamer. And today we're back, we're back in Wildflowers. How you guys doing? Okay, let's get in. So it's morning time. We had an extremely productive day yesterday. We did lots of stuff. We found a new location on the map, or it appear in the top upper left which looks like now we've discovered the entire map. Now, I don't know if there's more in the future. Maybe we hop in our boat and go somewhere else. Who knows? But it does look like we have discovered everything there is to discover, at least in terms of this map now. So we're gonna go ahead and do our daily little chores. I'm gonna leave these, is it raining? Yay, we don't have to water today. Oh, honey, perfect, you guys. And I think we have some mint, so I think Bring the milk and honey to Fraser, to Farseer. Bring milk and honey to Farseer. Wait, so that was one of our tasks? Oh, bring milk and honey to the Farseer. Okay, but what about this one? This one. So make a honey mint cooler. Okay, do we have enough honey? We have extra honey. Let's go make a honey mint cooler in our distillery, right? Because I think, and we have to give that to the witch, but I don't know who it is. I have no idea, you guys. We got one of those potions. Okay, is this the distillery? Yes. Oh, what do we need? We need we need two honeys? No, we need one honey and two mint. So we need one more mint. Okay, you guys, let's do this then. Let's go feed our chickens. We don't need to water. Hey, I fixed this. One of you guys told me, thank you so much point, for pointing out the fact that I didn't plant all the cotton. Now it's all planted. Hey, look, we have strawberries to collect. Let's collect our strawberries. Do we have a task? We do have a task. Great. Take the strawberries to Angus. Okay, so we'll take these strawberries to Angus. And then, uh, before we do that though, you guys, let's go up to get some more mint. And we'll feed the chickens and stuff. Yeah. Is that everything that is... Oh, we can also harvest all of these. What is this stuff? I don't know what this is. I forgot what this is. It's not, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever this is that we planted. Okay, let's get that one too. And is the cotton even ready? It is. Okay, we're probably gonna complete a lot of tasks today. Wow, look at all these tasks we're doing. Tell Thomas you've successfully harvested the cotton. We have so much to do. Hi kitty, hi kitty. Okay, we're gonna pet the kitty. Aww. What a sweet kitty. And then I think we need to buy more chicken feed, you guys. Do we have chicken feed? Hi, chicky, chicky. Okay, let's give the, oh, we have, that's right. We bought plenty of chicken feed last time. We're good. All right, let's feed the chicken. There you go. There you go, little chicky. Okay, and then this one hasn't grown up quite yet. Oh, we have three. That's right, you guys. We have so many chickens. Hi, little buddy. Hi, hi, hi. So there should be at least two eggs in here then. I think I only picked up one so far. Okay, then let's go over here, give this chicken some love. And then feed the chicken. It's gonna take a while if we have like 10 chickens, you guys. We're gonna spend half of our day giving chickens love and feeding them. That was our first chicken poncho. Okay, are there any other eggs? Was there only one egg? Shouldn't there be two eggs? Any more eggs in here? No. One egg. Okay. Unless I picked up two and I already forgot. It's a distinct possibility. All right, let's go up and get some more mint. Because we need one more mint to make the mint cooler. But honestly, I'm worried about giving it away because I have no idea who it is. And I need to like maybe rewatch my last video. Is this mint? That's mint. I maybe need to rewatch my last video. <laughs> to re-listen to their voice and be like, who is this? I don't have any idea. I like, honestly, not even the slightest clue who it could be. So that might take us a little while because I don't want to just give it away to anybody because that's going to require a whole nother honey session. Blackberries and gathering some more mint. Did we check out all of this? Wow, look how pretty this is, you guys. I wish we could zoom in and out. That's beautiful though. What, what goes on up there? 
Alright, so I guess we've seen the whole area. There's got to be more that happens around here, right? Should we dig this up? Sure. It's money! I forgot you get money in here. I mean, that's worth it. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, more mint. Perfect. We probably need mint for other stuff too, so we may as well have it. Okay, so, 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 let's go to Angus. Where is Angus? Let's go find Angus. He's probably in his shop. We'll give him the strawberries. And we'll complete all of our other quests. And um, we'll try and figure out who that witch is. Okay, so this is Angus's shop, right? Yes. Ooh, baking something new, Angus? Yep. It's my little bro's favorite. I'm the middle child of three boys, so it was nonstop chaos growing up. <laughs> but I could always get Jamie to calm down if I gave him one of these. Uh, you don't have any siblings, do you? That must have been a bit lonely growing up, no? The, does she have siblings? I don't remember. No, I guess not. Sometimes. It was lonely sometimes. But I don't really think you need a big family. Just a close I'm bond. I'm glad I have siblings. I've been trying to convince Francis of that. He wants kids, but I think we can be each other's family. Francis and I are both the middle child of three child families. Maybe that's why we're perfect for each other. We're used to being the overlooked cheese in the sandwich. <laughs> uh, I hope Francis is able to find a place for himself here and that everyone sees just how special he truly is. Um. Cheese is like the best part of the sandwich, Angus. Just because it's in the middle doesn't mean it's not the best part. And it's not overlooked by me anyway. So let's give them the strawberries. You know what's funny though about this whole siblings thing? So I actually came from a big family. Five, five kids, four siblings. And my parents were always so busy with work that we didn't really spend much time with my parents. Um, however, we were all very close to each other. So even to this day, I'm much closer with my siblings than I even am to my, to my dad. Angus, here, here are your strawberries. Are your strawberries. Angus. Aww, aren't you sweet? <laughs> Not as sweet as the strawberries. See what I did there. If you want a piece of the shortcake, just come by Town Square during the festival. Okay, Angus wants you to come to see him during the summer festival. Maybe you'll get to taste the shortcake. Great. Okay, what can we buy from Angus? Look at all this yummy stuff. Oh, let's buy the book. Sure. Recipes. We can buy all those yummy things from him. I love that. Look at all these new recipes. We got to bake more, you guys. Okay, so what other quests can we do? What other quests can we do? Uh, let's do this. Wait, that's going to be nighttime. I thought we had another one, though. Oh, yeah. Uh, Thomas. Let's go find Thomas. And then we should get a fabric thing. Right? And start making some fabric, maybe? I don't know. I kind of want to try out all the different ways of making money just to compare them to see which option makes the best money for our time and then uh, which one I enjoy doing the most because we are obviously, get, obviously are going to need a lot of money in this game to do stuff. Thomas, guess what? I love Thomas's garden so much. I wish mine were this cool. How come an NPC gets to have a better garden than we do? <laughs> what? I picked the cotton. I should have... Ow. Worn gloves. Yep. The ends of the bowls are sharp. You could have... I don't know... Mentioned that? <laughs> didn't want to insult your intelligence by presuming you didn't know better. No, don't worry. In the future, presume away. You need to build a loom to make cotton cloth. It will take some wood, but you've got plenty on your land. Right. So... Build a loom. That's a loom. all you need. Then you can make cloth on it. We need a bigger workshop. Come see me when that's done. Okay. Sure. Let's do it. New blueprint. Your loom can now be constructed. All right. How much wood do we have, you guys? We don't have much. Let's gather. I know we're going to need more than that. Well, I don't know. But I assume. Let's gather some more wood really quickly. And then we shall... We shall build a loom. And we shall make some cotton cloth. Right, Tara? That's quite a bit of wood. 
Oh, another one. Lemonade. They need wood for the lemonade stand. You guys, we are killing it with quests today. Look at us. We're just killing, although the day's like mostly over, so we're not gonna be able to redeem all those quests. But let's try and do that one. So who wanted that? The kids, right? The kids? Uh, gather wood. Oh, they also want sugar. I actually have sugar cane, but it's still growing, right? Isn't this sugar cane? Sugar cane. Okay, why don't we give it some of this? Get ourselves some extra sugar cane and make lots of beautiful sugar. Right? Am I right? Am I right? Of course I'm right. Boom, good job, Tara. Okay, so uh, now we go to the witches, right? Because is there any other quests we can do? Oh, okay, before we go to the witches, let's build a loom. Can we build that in here? Uh, what's this thing? That's our paper press. Okay, so how do we make a loom? From here? There it is, loom. We need that stuff. We have it. Brilliant. Okay, we definitely need a bigger workshop, you guys. We have no space left. We have, like, no space. I want a candle maker, though. I want a candle maker. How much? Sure. Okay. Oh, this is so big. Uh, oof. Let's put it over here. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta expand our workshop. This is getting crazy, you guys. Let's... Let's put that here. And then we'll move this one over here. It's not the best use of our space, but it is a thing. Can we make candles? Look, we can make candles. Beeswax. Oh, how many can we craft? One at a time? Okay. That's fine. Let's make some fabric. Cloth. Craft. Oh, neat. Is it right away? Oh, it's instantaneous. Okay, what's that? Fabric can be made on loom from silk and thread. A smooth fabric can be made on loom from silk thread. Was well, silk thread? Okay, we don't have silk thread. Okay, let's run back to Thomas really quick, and then we're gonna go to the forest. Ooh, a stone. And we're gonna go to the store, f f storest? <laughs> we're gonna go to the forest and, uh, and talk to the witch. Oh, he's probably already in his house. Dang it, Thomas, why'd you go inside? I wanted to complete the quest. Unless he went down to the, maybe he went to the pub. Ooh, this will be a good opportunity for us to see who, who who's here and who's not a witch. If it's already pub hour. We get this stuff. Hi, little crabby. Obviously, that guy's not a witch. Okay, so who's in here? So it's not any of these people. It's not Angus. It's not, um... It's not Francis. We have a quest for him. Ah, uh, you know it's not yeah. hills, right? Uh, of course, sure, <laughs> mostly. Look, I love working with precious metals, but I have no idea how to extract them, and I need some silver for our wedding bands. If you dig up some raw ore, Natalia can turn it into an ingot. That Let's see sure. what I can find. Okay, I actually already have it. Is this the kind of silver you need? Yay, quest done. Oh, just give me first look at the rings when you're done. They're going to be Here, this yeah. is for you. Thanks oh. so much. You're welcome. Yay. Okay, cool. So it's not Angus, it's not Francis, it's not uh what this guy, the bar, well obviously he has to work in the bar. So it's definitely not him. So it's not Damon. Uh it's not Surfer guy. It's not Bruno. Well, who the heck is it? It's not Parker. I don't know who it is. I feel like it's a boy, but I don't know. Maybe, hmm. Okay, well, let's go to the witches. Let's go see them. Oh, it's her. Do we have her quest? We do have her quest, yes. This one. I gave Thomas the wood you needed. <laughs> Yay, thank you. Okay, wait, does she have another quest for us? What's this? Oh, it's a little cutscene. Hi, Sophia. Good job, Astera. Have you seen Juliet? She was going to help me, but I can't find her, and I'm running out of time. We are not going to abandon all our family traditions because Giacomo is gone. Who's Giacomo? She's being a teenager. I agree. Traditions are important, but Juliet probably forgot it's a Friday. Teenagers can be flaky sometimes. Oh, you're right. I shouldn't take it personally, but... Mm -hmm. Really is a special dinner one night a week, so hard to remember. Hey, Mom. Yeah. Oh, Sorry, there I'm is. late. There you are. Well, I'm glad you made it back in time. 
Luckily for you, I had Tara to keep me company while I waited. Tara, will you join us? Oh, no right thanks. Now? I should get back to the farm. Good night. Yay! Okay, we... Run, run, run! We gotta get back to uh, the witch's area and try to figure out who I don't know. It, it's gonna, we'll have to save it for the next episode, you guys, because I have no idea who it is. Besides, I don't even have it with me, and it's not daytime. So, oh, moonflower, moonflower, definitely need this. Always need the moonflower. Always need the moonflower. I wish I could grow moonflower on my farm. Wouldn't that be nice? Maybe we'll be able to someday. I don't know. I just don't know. Okay, everybody. Uh, who was it again that I need to talk to? Oh, Aubrey. Here you go, Aubrey. Here's your milk and honey, Farseer. That'll do. I'll leave some out for the Fey folk. What will you do with the rest? Put it in my tea, of course. Fool question. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, okay, wait. Now, you guys, I need to look at a hint for this because I don't know who this is. Show hint. Talk to the adept. Maybe they'll drop a clue. Who's the adept? Adept? Talk to the adept? Let's talk to everybody, I guess. I know which ones who transformed into a hawk she saw gliding majestically above her. The bird knew how to fly, but she didn't. It was a mess. Okay. <laughs> which one's the so, adept? I hear you're the one who welcomed the meteorologist to town, Tara. Yeah, Otto. Malin forced me for the job. But Giva seems nice, so I didn't mind. She may be nice, but her presence here could be dangerous. She what? came here to look into Fairhaven's weather patterns. We caused those weather patterns. Oh. She did ask if I knew anything that would explain the weather anomalies. That's exactly what I'm worried about. If she's a competent meteorologist, she'll dig far enough into the island's weather that she just might find us at the center. We should all keep an eye on her discoveries. Oh, wait. No. No. I, I don't think that's what Grandma would have wanted. Didn't she warn us against this exact attitude? Even if Giva does uncover something that points to us, that isn't necessarily bad. Maybe she's trustworthy. I wish I agreed with you, but as witches, we can never be too careful. We're not only responsible for our own safety, but the safety of the entire island, even the parts beyond the veil. What? Beyond the veil? Oh my gosh, you guys. I feel like there's so much to discover still in this game. <laughs> okay, let's talk. Oh, this is the one we're supposed to talk to, right? Adept. This I welcome it. you to this gathering. Who are Have you? Have you made my potion yet? Yeah, I need a hint. No, I need a hint. Who are you? You really don't know? Surely those lovely eyes are more perceptive than you think. Hazel had this way of really seeing people, even when she first met them. I bet you do too. That doesn't help me. <laughs> like what? That's not helpful. Can I get another Have hint? Have you made my potion yet? No. I need a hint. It's gonna be the Who same. Who are you? You really don't know? Surely those lovely eyes are more perceptive than you think. Hazel had this way of really seeing people, even when she first met them. I bet you do too. Now I'm not so sure it's a boy. It could be a girl. I don't know who it is. I, have, you got, I, I, honestly, you guys, I have no idea. It took me ages to get this far in the coven, but don't give up. You'll get the hang of it. I have no idea. It's probably, it's it's a girl, right? Because we just uncovered a boy, this one. So it's maybe a girl? The voice sounds like it could be a girl. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, well, we're gonna try. We're gonna do our best. We're gonna collect some mushrooms. And we're gonna go home, it's almost midnight! <gasps> oh wait, I need that. Mandrakes. I think we pass out at 2 a.m. Uh, you know, I'm the, I'm in no rush to find out who all the people are. I feel like it is a girl, though. So, what if it's her? She wasn't in the pub. But so, are, Lena wasn't in the pub either. Guys, I don't know. Should okay. I? 
Let's play for a little longer. It's only been 20 minutes. We're good for a little bit longer. Just a little, just one more day, maybe. Na, na, na. Good morning, Tara. I don't think we have to water today, right? Because it rained yesterday. Okay, so our potion should be ready. Oh, we already made it, just kidding. What does it do? A refreshing tea made with honey and mint. Drinking it restores some energy. Let's make another one. Why not? Why not? Let's make another potion too, you guys. Another one of these. Okay, let's get out of here. Um, we need to go talk to Thomas. Do we need to water though? We shouldn't need to water, right? So our next batch of honey, how long does it take? <gasps> Look how fast it goes because of all these flowers, you guys. We're gonna have so much honey. That's great. I think we've we've made that pretty efficient. Okay, let's go ahead and feed our chickens. Okay. We'll give them love tomorrow. I don't think we need to give them love every single day, right? Just to save some time. Oh, these silly little chickens. Look at all these eggies. All right. Yeah, I think maybe giving them love every other day is still gonna be, <laughs> did you guys hear that? Giving them love every other day is gonna be just as effective, I think, maybe, who knows? Not me. Okay, so let's head over to here. We don't need to water, right? No, we're good. Ooh, there's Mayor Otto. What does he want? What does Mayor Otto want? Why is he walking around? Where is he going anyway? Where is he going? I don't trust him. Look at the way he walks. He looks so silly shuffling around like that. Where are you going? I just don't know about that guy. I'm not convinced of his motivations. Okay, there's Thomas. Thomas, guess what? I did it. I wove my own cloth. Well then, you're good to go. I sell mine to the general store. Oh, sure. Lena's the best. Yeah, she is the best. Uh, buyer in town. Always gives a fair price. She'll he take likes any dyed Lena. cloth you make, too. If you want to make your own dyes and dye the cloth, you'll need a dyeing bath. Here is a blueprint for a dyeing bath to dye the cloth and he's the recipes witch? for the dyes themselves. The dyes can be made by crushing up the ingredients in a mortar and pestle. I guess you can have a couple of my dyes, too. Thomas, thank you for he... all of this help. Oh, dyes. I really appreciate it. I know. Like I said, I promised your grandma I'd pitch in, and I will. Yay! Excellent. Let's go dye some stuff. New blueprint, dyeing bath. Oh, we have to make a dyeing bath, too. We gotta expand, you guys. Let's go, let's go, what other quest do we have to do today? Uh, the lemonade one. We need sugar for that, though. Don't have any of these yet. We did that. Okay. Let's go and figure out how we can expand our workshop, you guys, because we need more space. We need more space for our workshop. And our yard's getting a little bit messy. But I want to see how we can expand the workshop. What if it's her? What if it's her? Should I waste it on her? I have two of them, you guys. Oh, it doesn't even give me the option. Interesting. Do I not have it on me? Don't I have it? Do I not have it on me? I'm so confused, you guys. What? Where is it? Uh, what? Did I leave it in the... No, and I just made another one. So where... Magic items. Do you guys, what? <sighs> Honeyman, oh. Two days remaining makes one. But I swear I already made one. 
Maybe I didn't make one and it's still brewing because obviously I don't have one in my inventory. Okay, I'm just being silly, you guys. Let's go talk to Parker and see what he needs. What if the witch is Lena? Could be Natalia, could be Lena. It could even be, it could even be her, Violet. We're gonna say hi that to That bookseller, he was really close with grandma, huh? I think so, yeah. But not like that. Ew, ew. Hey, if they were close like that, good for Hazel. <laughs> <laughs> I like her. All right, so it could be her, but I don't know. The way she talks doesn't sound like her. It sounds like someone who speaks a little more thoughtfully. Oh no, is he off today? Dang it, Parker. Parker's closed. What is it? Is it Saturday? Oh, it's Saturday. Parker's closed. Okay, let's... We're gonna have to wait till Monday, so we're gonna have to tackle that in the next episode, you guys. I just wanna figure out next time what exactly we need what exactly we need to either expand... Oh, look, we can do something now here. Oh, I can put flowers on Grandma's grave. I didn't know you could do that. Oh. I met Wesley, Grandma. He gave me your journal. I'll keep it safe, I promise. I miss you. Oh, look, Vanessa. Let's go say hi to her. I think I might have been wrong about Vanessa. Maybe she's nice. She's just a little awkward. And Otto is the weird one. Last know. year, the Fairhaven Summer Festival was included on a list of the best summer activities in the region. Of course, we were at the bottom of the list. But maybe now that you're here, we'll be at the top. She's kind of nice. I'm going to give her a little present. I'm going to give her a delicious apple pie. Let's see if she likes it. I love it. Thank you. You are such a charmer. Maybe I was wrong about her. At first I thought she was kind of a Karen, but I think I might be wrong about her. Let's say hi to, uh, to, uh, Cameron. That's so weird. He looks just like my brother, and my brother's name is Cameron. He looks just like that. Doesn't wear glasses, though. The summer festival seems fun and all, but doesn't it also seem like old-fashioned superstition? What's the harm in that? He's well, not a witch. After Otto's town hall meeting in the spring, we might want to cut down on superstitions. But that's just two cents from the newish guy. I don't think Cameron's a witch. So that leaves kind of a small group of people. What about her? What if she's the witch? Oh, we have a thing for her. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad to see you. I always am, of course. Oh. But I could amazing. really use your help. My clinic is out of cotton. Again. Oh. Any chance you're growing any cotton on your farm? Absolutely. Four bunches should keep me stocked up. But sure, I think we but it might take me a few days. Already oh, gave it away. Are we already Yeah, we don't have it. We'll have to buy some because we already made it into cloth. But we'll we'll buy some more from Thomas. Maybe it... I think she's a witch. I don't know if she's the one where... You are a lifesaver. Now the twins have something to occupy themselves with outside of school. Except, Emmy keeps asking me about stock options. And Finn keeps asking what would happen if you put ketchup in lemonade. I don't think she's the one we're supposed to find next, though. I feel like she's the one we were talking to who was warning us about the meteorologist. Just the voice kind of reminds me of the style of speaking. I could be completely wrong, but it just seems to me, hey, we should sell some stuff, you guys. It just seems to me that maybe, just maybe, you know? Wait, don't I need some corn for something? I thought I needed corn for something. I better not sell it just yet, just in case. We gotta plant some new stuff, you guys. We're gonna sell the eggs, see how much money we can make from those. Not much. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Lena. They could be a witch as well, I guess. It wouldn't be unusual for it to be. It could be Kim. Don't get me wrong, I'm excited for the summer festival. But it also seems <sighs> quaint, you know? 
I went to plenty of block parties in the city. Maybe it's not Nobody Kim. says anything about pleasing the fairies at block parties. Hmm. I feel like they'd be a little more enthusiastic about the festival if it were them. Okay, we still have to get sugar. Okay, you guys, that's probably all we can do in this episode. Hey, look, let's say hi to Parker. We were looking for him anyway, but he's, hey, he was closed. Hey, thanks for telling Emmy and Finn you'd help with their lemonade stand. I like yeah. helping them build stuff. I transform from just dead to cool guy with power tools. <laughs> That's great. Let's give him a present. How about a cupcake? I want to discover their favorite foods. Not what I usually eat, but oh. hey, looks tasty. Not his favorite food. Okay, well, we know. Actually, we don't know. I mean, we know, but I'm not going to remember that. <laughs> I'm not going to remember that. Okay, let's do this, you guys. Let's... Where can we end the episode? Where can we end it? I guess we'll end it here. I and the next episode, you guys, we will try to figure out who the witch is. What if it's Sophia? Could be Sophia. Juliet says I spend too much time at the cemetery, but I find it comforting. If you ever want company when you go to visit Hazel, Aww. let me know. Thanks. I will. Yeah, her husband is there, right? Let's give her a present. I wonder what she likes. Maybe she wants a bottle of wine? Well, how thoughtful. We're not discovering anyone's favorite foods, though, you guys. <laughs> okay, my friends, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Ding that little bell. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Okay. Bye, guys.